Well, tonight, a high tech survey of the state's groundwater is finally complete. It's the first time ever California has been able to fully measure and map it. CBS 13's Kayla Mulder is getting answers on why it's so important to understand what's underground, Kayla. Yeah, out of sight, out of mind. A lot of people might not think about the water that can lie below our feet. Water can travel down between little cracks like these into any of California's 515 groundwater basins. And the Department of Water Resources knows just how critical that groundwater is to California. In fact, our underground basins can store up to five times more water than all of our surface water combined. But they need to learn a little bit more about these basins because we can't see them. But with their uh, the phase one of their airborne electromagnetic survey project done, they are one step closer. There's water down there, but you know, what's it doing? The Department of Water Resources is tapping into all the untapped potential stored underground. Underground water, that is. The first phase of the airborne electromagnetic survey project has been completed, and the data is ready to be shared. The helicopter is, hang, uh, is towing a large hoop that uh, sends um, signals into the ground that bounce off the different types of materials, the sand, silts, and gravels that are below the ground. The signals penetrate a thousand feet below the ground. It's like an MRI for the earth. And over the last couple years, they've been able to map 16,000 line miles of data across a hundred groundwater basins. Yeah, I saw that helicopter. We talked about it in our water district and it's, it's quite amazing that the technology that you can see underground. Ken Mitchell owns a local farm. Groundwater is huge uh, in the state of California. He says having a mapping system of real-time data is a game changer. We've got a water moving problem. We've got a storage problem. We haven't built anything storage-wise in California since uh, the mid-60s. We definitely um, structured this whole project based on trying to benefit and help local agencies. The data shows what the basins are made of, how water moves underground through different earth materials, and which areas might be best for storage using natural infrastructure. Future droughts, future floods, long-term climate change, it really is preparing California and local water managers and local communities uh, to be able to uh, face the future that we know is coming. The mapping also helps water agencies understand the amount of underground water at any given time and make things a bit more efficient to access those groundwater basins when we need to when we are short on surface water. The next phase of the project involves combining the data from mapping and the helicopters with local agencies' data to come up with more localized solutions for this new era of California groundwater characterization.